I Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about unit testing on a set value method of a form group with form control in reactive forms. I have explained about set value method in my Angular tutorial video. I will provide the link in the description. Please watch before continuing this video. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, I have explained about a reset form group with username and the password and when the user clicks on the reset button, then automatically these values will be getting updated by using a set value method. Now in this video, we will be testing the same thing. Before testing the form group, let me go and show you a demo. So here I have empty username and the password. Let me click on the reset password. Here we got username and the password. Whereas for example, let me reload this application and give hi and one, two, three, four, five, six. And let me click on the reset password. So now all the previous values has been overridden and the values, whatever we are passing from the default form values has been rendered in my fields because of that form control name. So because of the two way data binding with by using a set value method, we are able to update our form group values. Now I want to test this particular button click and the value updates of that form form group. Let me go to the spec file and create a two variables that is let fixture colon, which is of fixture that is component fixture, which is of type app component. And now let me give a instance that is component instance variable instance variable which is of type app component now i have these two variables so after all the configurations for the test bed is done then what i'll do is i'll try to assign this fixture fixture is equal to test bed dot create component of what type of component it's app component and now let me give component instance is equal to fixture dot component instance. I am assigning this component instance to my component instance variable. Now we are working on the reactive forms. So we need to have a module called as reactive forms module. So this will be imported from angular forms and now I can utilize that reactive forms utilities and the methods and directives in my spec file. So let me create a it description whereas it is having some validation. Now what I want to do is whenever user clicks on the reset form then that should call this method and this method should update my default values of that particular form controls and also we have one more scenario for example we are entering some values in this form controls and when the user clicks on the reset form even at that particular time it should override all my previous values with the default form values so that we will be checking in one statement check set value which is having a callback function inside this callback function let me use fixture dot detect changes let me detect the changes whenever the changes are updated that means when stable i'll get a promise based and this promise based will have a callback function inside the callback function what i want to do is i want to get the username first username and then let me go with password id is equal to password so I have these two values and also let me give an ID for this button that is a reset button. Now I have three elements with three IDs and let me save this, go to the spec file, get that elements, const username element colon HTML input element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of my ID that is prefixed with hash and username. Let me go to the one more element. Before going to that element, I want to update the value for this dot value is equal to uh, I'm giving something like sample at the rate gmail.com and then I'm dispatching an event over this user element dot dispatch event of a new event. Let me generate that event with a input event and now let me get the password password element colon html input element is equal to fixture fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of hash password so i got the two elements and now let me give the value for the password element password element dot value is equal to sample password this is my password which i am giving and then 
password element dot dispatch event of new event of input change so my event is input and now after this updations of the UI elements what I want to do is I want to detect the changes let me detect the changes and then fixture dot when stable whenever it is stable I'll get a promise based and this will have a callback function inside the callback function what I can do is now these values will be already in my form control that means the username will be with that form control let me check that by going here let me expect of username that means component instance dot reset form group dot get of I'll get the username username and with value that should be equal to my sample at the rate gmail.com because I didn't press that particular button called reset button and whenever I don't press that reset button the value will be equal to my user element whatever I am giving here and the password element value whatever I am passing here so in the same way let me expect password value password value that should be equivalent to my password value which I passed here sample password and let me save this so here it's building and now the status is success now what I want to do is I want to press the button after pressing that particular event or a button the mock function will be called the function will be something like reset form so now what I want to do is I want to get this button so const button element colon HTML button element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector of what is my ID the hash and followed by reset button let me paste here reset button and also we have one function called as mock function let me define that mock function const mock function is equal to spion spion is a method which is used to create a mocking function and now component instance comma what is my mock function name the function name is reset form let me pass this reset form and there is a method called as call through whenever I click this particular button that method need to be called now our expectation is whenever I am clicking this button so click event over the button what will happen expect of mock function mock function should be called with dot to have been called times of one it should be called one time and also our next expectation is component instance dot reset form group dot get of username that username should be equal to to equal of component instance dot default form value dot username because we are setting this value by using set value method in the same way I can expect this particular value that is component instance with a password and the value will be equivalent to the default password password save this and now after button click my values will be setting to the default values which I am using inside my TS that is username as i at the gmail.com and the password as password update so my test case has been successfully passed this is how we can check our set value method in reactive forms using a form group with form controls hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you